Hello everybody and we're back with another YouTube video. This is a different type of YouTube video should I say. Um comment it in my lap. As now we're going to turn one now it hit that apex quite nicely there. Uh got a really good uh traction well no wheel spin on traction zone. As now we go up a rouge now into Radion now absolutely flying up a Radion at least hitting like 190 something miles per hour up there 210 miles per hour currently hitting I'll tell you the speed at the end of the street 215 now we did 29.614 now going into uh, sector 2 split now as sorry sector 2 um, as we now go into the very long right hand I can't remember what turn it's called though completely nailing that absolutely brilliantly on X as well as now we're going to Noni now hit that apex slightly wide on X no, that's cool well, sorry apex shall I say as now we're going to pull on now a bit wide the shadows are, didn't help too much but now as we go into the XS section now now as we go now into the very long right hander and now nailing that left hander too very little bit of over to on exit but pretty tidy as now we're going to the very right back long right hander now of uh, I can't remember what turn it is but uh, 39 sector 2 split as now we're coming up to Blanchemont now flat out corner hitting like 205 miles per hour before the corner hitting 200 after Blanchemont now as we go to the plus top chicane now Hit that apex quite nicely, use as much curve as you can. Slightly, well, not the best last corner, but it's still pretty tidy as we set a what, 41.947. As you can see now, one like, two like, three like, four like, five red lights now. At the start of this race, lights out and away we go. I get a pretty alright start. Levi got a really good start as, um, compared to me. As we go into turn one now, luckily he's a right turn rather than left turn because Levi would be ahead of me into turn one but Levi is trying to go side by side and up a rouge but he, he knows he has to back out because it would have been an absolute airplane crash but up a rouge now into Radium as well heading down the straight now I'm building a lot of ERS now on 80% ERS now I guess he's not building anymore so I just stopped building as now going to the sector 2 now of the chicane um, yeah, pretty decent start for me. Um, Levi had also had a really insane start, and um, yeah, pretty good start for me. Feels like I'm driving a twenty-five percent race. As we get ahead back now, I'm back with the, the commentary now as we go into the very right hand as we lose the car and we've crashed into oh, the no. wall. We've crashed oh, into the wall. Christ. Absolutely horrible that felt for me. I really, really oh, so regretted shit. that and I really felt like so I had the counter pits. I knew the race wouldn't be one if a safety, if unless a safety car came out. So I just had to to just give it my all when I came out of the pits. So very frustrating moment very annoying but I just had to keep my cool and just keep keep doing what I need to do and even though that was a pit lap so yep. I wouldn't lose too much time as I would crash pretty much right in front of the, the pit lane so it's pretty decent but as we head to the pit so it's going to be like a 7.4 second pit stop I believe so it's not long time in the pits but it's not massively long as because uh, we didn't have to do pretty much the whole lap with a broken wing, so it's, it's not too bad actually. So we still win most likely. Well, not most likely, because uh, quite far behind everyone else, but we still win it. We just have to just head down and just keep pushing for the rest of the race. I don't know what position. 
Russian system. Oh, thank God. As you can see now, the safety car has come out of the pits. That is absolutely insane for Morris. Boxing, yeah, as an absolute, when I saw that safety car come out, I was like, let's go. And you can even hear me say it as well. So, very happy with that um, as well, coming to pits now. Um, something very controversial will happen in a, uh, a few seconds, shall I say. And um, you get a pretty good pit stop, 2.2 seconds, but I'll... I'll Shut up, I'm gonna leave it. I jumped, uh, let you listen to what I'm saying. Raw approval for this. The two championship contenders giving it everything. It's not over yet because Hamilton gets another slipstream all the way down the old pit straight. One sec, chat. Cops corner. These One are critical corners for this Grand Prix. Hamilton's gonna try again this time on the inside. A continent touch. Verstappen is out of the race, and that's a big crash into Cops. Lewis Hamilton and Max Verstappen coming together. Hamilton continues on. So basically what happened there was I left to go and get a drink. So um pretty much what happened was I um had to get a drink quickly and I was had a to that day I also didn't feel the best. I wasn't well so I needed uh a drink because I had a very so for I'm still not the wellness at the moment but as you probably can hear but yeah, it's just very unfortunate. Uh sorry JD, if you're watching, and his fans, because, uh, you know, it's just a bit unfortunate, but, you know, I can't help it. Apologies, so, you know. I can't. Yeah, just a bit unfortunate. I've not won this then. Confirmed or receive you at the end of this lap. This also led me with a uh, wing damage, by the way, so I had to come in the pits again. Was, uh, <coughs> I'm sorry, apologies. Um, because I had wing damage, I had orange front wings, so quite annoying, quite frustrating I was. Well, I was frustrated, sorry. <laughs> and uh, I could tell JD was when I watched his uh, stream again. So, um, very annoying, but oh well. We're just gonna have to do the best comeback drive as we can possibly can. Last the first challenge, come on. Four laps. Hey, what position are you? Yeah, my AI made it was. As you can see now, the safety car is about to come in a bit now as uh, we're going to head to the bus stop chicane now as um, we go into the final corner now. We get a pretty insane exit as the cars in front of us are just slowing down for some reason. And um, I went for a really, really good move into turn one. It was a double overtake and I was pretty happy with the overtake because um, uh, that meant that Limitless had to overtake another two cars. As, he, as you can see now, he gets past one of them but yes they would take Mark Sousa now so um, yeah so it led me well it made well it made me less overtakeable for Limitless shall I say and um, yeah and as you see Mark Sousa in the slipstream now coming into the sector 2 now as uh, DSP Hollow has had a 
disconnect I believe oh he's just left the game and we're now in P13 already it was P16 before the restart now we're P13 already now we're coming behind uh, typical F1 now for the P12 position now as the Ferrari's coming through uh, on right behind him two tenths two and a half tenths behind the Ferrari driver now as we're gonna head towards the straight we're probably gonna get a overtake down how close we are and <coughs> Won't be surprised if he lets us through as he goes a little bit wide going into the S section now as we get a big snap of oversteer on exit. But we should be very likely to get past the Ferrari driver now. And um, yeah, as you can see, I'm burning a lot of my ERS now. It's only three laps left, so I might as well burn quite a bit of it, but not too much to the point where it's you know 0% as we're now. Gaining, 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 gaining. Bus top chicane, maybe overtake. Yep, we get an overtake done very late on the bricks. Pretty pleased with that move now. As we're going on board now, we're on lap 20 now. As we fast forward now into lap 20, as we're right behind uh, everyone else now. As we're going to go for the overtake on BRZ, I'm being a lot of my battery at the moment, trying to get past these drivers because I know I had the pace to get past these drivers. Now into P10, got that one point already in. Two laps I believe, which is pretty good, pretty good comeback drive already from me as E.T. Andrea gets a big snap of oversteer. I don't know if it was contact, but he had a lot of oversteer anyway. Supply Raptor. I don't know if he let me through or he made a mistake, but yeah, I was right to put P9 anyway, two points. As now coming behind all these drivers most of them got penalties so we're definitely gonna be getting a lot of positions so no placky ahead and uh, i feel that i don't believe i had six seconds of penalty so we could possibly get a second place here if we could keep pushing because i know a lot of the guys in front of me had penalties so all i have to do now is just get past these drivers now and just start pushing like crazy now as it's the last lap of the grand prix too so you want to push very hard go and get this uh this Maybe possible win because maybe the guy in first even has a penalty. I don't know. But Ethan Andrea is going a bit wide now into into uh, the cover of corners, but if you get on the side of him it's into no name now into Puano. We're gonna try and gain as much time as possible. Goxy does not have a penalty, so we're gonna have to get past him. As Efrai Kaya spun, he spun out the um, into Puano now as we right behind Goxy now pushing as hard as I can now absolutely like driving the shit out of the car sorry for the language but I'm absolutely pushing the hell out of the car now as we go into the final sector now using all that battery I have Ditsy Zero back to play with nobody has zero any but nobody has battery to play with in this last area now as we go into Blanchemont now very Low on the ERS on 0% now as you go into the bus stop she came breaking very late and uh Goxie has a big stab of oversteer but then loses a lot of time because of that and then I hit him. So it was very unfortunate for him. Apologies if that was my fault. I don't know whose fault that was, but in the end of the day we get a P4, which is pretty happy with that. Pretty, pretty happy with that. And anyways guys, if everyone in, everyone enjoyed it, please uh, like the video subscribe and i'll see you guys later bye